When Colleen Ballinger first introduced her opinionated, narcissistic Miranda Sings to YouTube audiences in 2008, she couldn't have imagined the image would blossom and turn into a full career. The singer by education and comedian by calling has built a real online empire in 10 years, creating one of the brightest characters of our time. Colleen May Ballinger was born on November 21, 1986 in Santa Barbara, California. As a child, Ballinger, along with her siblings, always sang and performed for her family. Colleen especially loved the musical theatre with which her grandfather introduced her. Together, they attended more than one performance, and when Ballinger began to engage in acting in high school, her grandfather always supported her. Looking at the outrageous Miranda Sings, it's hard to believe that, at high school, Ballinger was very insecure, often bullied, and even physically abused by her peers for her appearance. This led to a few years of homeschooling at Colleen High School. After high school, Ballinger graduated from ASIS University of the Pacific with a degree in vocals. It was communication with various students who gave very dubious advice on singing, as well as countless YouTube videos with poor quality covers of pop and Broadway music that inspired her to create Miranda Sings. After graduation, Ballinger performed for Disney in California, gave private vocal and piano lessons to children, participated in various shows and performances, and sang at parties and cabaret. Colleen posted her first video on Miranda Sings in February 2008, which was a cover version of Aretha Franklin's song Respect. The accomplished singer Ballinger has grown into a self-confident but not so talented Miranda, who sees herself as amazing. In the image of Miranda, Colleen uses bright lipstick, speaks with extremely specific intonation, often calls her critics haters, and sings a lot without getting on the beat. The character often shares politically incorrect and sometimes offensive points of view. She also refers to any inappropriate behavior, references to sexual topics or nudity, as pornography. Miranda Singh soon caught the attention of the Broadway community for her unique humor. As the Los Angeles Times wrote in 2009, one of Broadway's most popular stars currently is an unheard of singer with no stage appearances and even less acting talent. Gradually, Colleen turned her character into a real brand. She started selling the iconic pants, haters back off, and released a line of signature red lipstick. Ballinger created a whole world for Miranda, giving fans a glimpse into her story through books, videos, and live performances. In July 2015, under the name Miranda Sings, the singer officially published her first parody book, Self Health, full of her life lessons and instructions. The second book, My Diarrhea, was called outrageously funny by reviewers. It contains funny stories about Miranda's infancy and her rise to fame. Both books in the very first weeks hit the New York Times bestseller list. Miranda's image was gaining popularity and gaining more and more fans. Colleen, in the guise of her alter ego, began to be invited to various talk shows, comedians driving in search of coffee, The Night Show with Jimmy Fallon, Avoid the Night, and others. But it was just the beginning. In January 2016, Netflix commissioned Haters Back Off, an eight-part series created by Colleen and her brother Christopher Ballinger, based on the fictional life of Miranda Sings. Ballinger used the format to show viewers a deeper, real side of her character, Miranda Sings. The series ran for two seasons, but was cancelled in December 2017. Her star fame on Netflix didn't end there. Colleen also directed an hour-long comedy special for Netflix at the Kennedy Center, Miranda Sings Live, Welcome. The internet star began touring with her character Miranda around the world, after being offered to perform at the club in 2009. Her first live performance was a success, and Miranda embarked on a tour of the US and around the world. On stage, she reads letters from haters, communicates with volunteers from the audience, and performs a magic trick as she sings, imagining she's been stabbed in the neck with a sword, the joke being that she sings better when the sword is inserted in her neck. Colleen's personal life has a considerable impact on Miranda's touring plans. In 2018, Ballinger married her Haters Back Off co-star Eric Stoglin, and the couple had a son. After some time, Miranda went with the child on a new tour called Who Wants My Kid, 
where during the performance she jokingly tries to find parents for her baby. In late 2021, Colleen and Eric became parents again, this time to twins. Already in June 2022, Miranda reappeared on posters from different cities. Videos of the Miranda Sings channel are gaining record multi-million dollar views. The internet star has more than 13 million followers on TikTok and 6 million followers on Instagram. She is called the Queen of Twitter and is waiting for new releases and posts around the world. In 2022, Miranda returned to television as a guest star in the third episode of the game show Generation Gap. In addition to the image of Miranda Sings, Colleen develops in a personal role. On her own separate channel, she shares cover versions and original songs. In 2015, she received two awards, Teen Choice Award for Web Star Comedy and the Streamy Award as Best Actress. In 2019, Colleen made her Broadway debut in the musical Waitress. Ballinger won over viewers and critics playing the bizarre role of Dawn Louise Pinkett and performing a solo song in a familiar comedy style. The YouTube star is friends with some of the most powerful people in the entertainment industry, Ariana Grande and her brother Frankie Grande. Ballinger considers them her family and calls them the first people to believe in her as a comedy actress. In 2018, Colleen appeared in Ariana's video for the song Thank You, Next, based on the film Mean Girls. Everyone spoke about the music video, including Miranda Sings on her YouTube channel. Colleen earns about $12 million a year. She earns most of her income from advertising on her YouTube channels and for performing. In creating Miranda, Colleen had the main goal of making people laugh. However, she really wanted to create a real identity. Despite Miranda being just a character, Ballinger does everything to make her as real as possible. And indeed, millions of fans around the world feel this sincerity, even through ridiculous makeup and shocking behavior. Oh.